Okay, so this is what I got. This is very generic looking. Ignore the pricing on this, I'll tell you later. The idea is to use this as a replacement for typing out my password every time. So, for example, if you here see the login screen, this is one use case where I want to stop using passwords and just use a fingerprint like how I do it on other laptops as well. But yeah, I'm assuming there's going to be a little bit of uh, tweaking required, a lot of packages to be installed. Uh, especially because I'm on Ubuntu 22.04, which doesn't have the fingerprint settings at all in, in its uh, settings app. So I need to install a few things. But uh, let's see how it is. If I do a quick unboxing here, uh, let's cut it open. It's, it's like a very minimal looking USB uh, adapter, which has a, a fingerprint reader. So, and that's what I wanted. So here if you see this is the USB obviously this is USB A I didn't have I couldn't find anything which is USB C sadly but I have a USB A on the front of my CPU so that's like a good place to put it and then you just use it like that the fingerprint reader itself is slightly smaller than how it is on mobile phones or maybe it's the uh, maybe the sensor is actually smaller it's just the button that's larger anyway uh, yeah, so I'll set this up and then show you what all packages and settings I have to change to get this to work. Let's get started. So the way this works is uh, anytime you need to authenticate, you can instead now use your fingerprint to authenticate instead of writing out your password. So if you see, if I run sudo apt update, it asks me to place my index finger on the fingerprint reader. So I do that and it authenticates and then finishes the command. Um, there's a timeout as well. I think it's around like 10, 15 seconds. If you don't place your finger, it just uh, fails and then you can just uh, type out your uh, password instead. If the fingerprint authentication fails, then it also asks you to write your password instead. So let me use a different finger which I haven't registered. So now if you see it failed to match fingerprint and now it's asking me to write the password. So I can type it out or I can just control C to uh, ignore. Um, but yeah, so those sorts of scenarios are all covered. Uh, you can register multiple fingerprints. So let's take a look at how uh, that can be done. But let's first actually just see the original video that I uh, took a lot of help from. So this is by uh, Leon. So thanks, thanks a lot Leon for uh, putting this together. Uh, this also made me uh, aware of this fork lib f print uh, GitHub repository, which has a lot of uh, code. Most of the setup that I did was all showcased in this video that uh, Leon has shared here. Uh, thankfully, both of the fingerprint readers that he showed and the one I bought have this chipset called as CS9711. And uh, there's a GitHub repository of a fork libfprint uh, library, uh, which can use this chipset to now read your fingerprint. So um, I'd also commented on his video and thanks thanks for uh, helping me out. Uh, PAM update is the command I needed to uh, use fingerprint through the command line, set everything up uh, on Ubuntu 22.04. Uh, he showed on uh, Ubuntu 24.04, so do check out his video as well. So this is the GitHub repository I was talking about. This is the forked uh, uh, support for the chip selling CS9711 chipset. So that's that's what I needed to install. Uh, the video that I also showed by Leon has linked to this GitHub gist that he created to list out all the dependencies needed to get it to work. Everything here pretty much worked uh, flawlessly. I did have to install a couple of more additional things like I didn't have CMake and a few more dependencies here. So I just installed those. I'll also put them in the description below so you can copy those as well. Um, once that was set up, I was ready to now use uh, my fingerprint as an authentication method. So the one thing I was talking about, right, how I realized that the chipset is the same. So I used LSUSB, uh, this. So here if you see fingerprint, it is using CS9711. And that's how I realized that um, the thing that uh, Leon's video shows it will indeed work for me. Um, I didn't really check uh, before buying the fingerprint data, which was probably a good thing I could have done. 
but uh, as pretty sure that uh, most of these things would indeed work out or i would find some other repository that will work so uh, and i think uh, by the way ls usb is from this package uh, lib usb let's see here yeah usb utils is what you need to install if you want to run ls usb it lists out your usb devices so um, I went through the uh, GitHub gist, uh, this one, which had uh, everything that you needed to do. Uh, at the end of it all, fprint d, uh, the fingerprint daemon is what you need to use to uh, enroll, list out or delete your fingerprints. Uh, unfortunately, Ubuntu 22.04 doesn't have this in the settings. So if I go back here, uh, in Ubuntu 24.04, there's a system section here where you can register fingerprints but i don't think i could find anything here even in the user section uh yeah so everything here was related to passwords and stuff but nowhere could i uh, register my fingerprint add or remove existing ones so you have to do this through the command line but let me show you that so the first thing you can do is do fprint list and then you can list fingerprints for a specific user so let's do root uh, and as to authenticate sometimes this fingerprint data doesn't really work well i don't know why but here if you see your root doesn't have any uh, uh, associated fingerprint so let's do myself and here if you see i've registered my left index finger so the thing you have to realize is whenever i'm running sudo something it's running on, on behalf of the user that i'm currently logged in as right so this is mrs sahu but uh, now let's talk a little bit about this fprint d enroll. This is how you will use to enroll your uh, uh, fingers. So this is left index finger. There are a lot of other options as well. So if I show you, let me just write a wrong name. Yeah, so these are the available options. Uh, left thumb, index, ring, everything, everything is here, right? So, you have to pass in your username as well. So you, when you write sudo, uh, actually you can try running it without sudo, but then the command doesn't, uh, it also requires <laughs> sudo to run. So by default, it will register the um, fingerprint for the user it runs. So when you do sudo, it then becomes root. But later on when you're doing sudo something, it's running on behalf of your user. So you have to pass in your user as well when you're enrolling fingerprints. So that's something I realized later. So you enroll your uh, finger, then you can use list as I showed before. So as you can see, you can, you can register other fingers. So it's easy to just use whatever it's there. The second one is what uh, Leon commented on his video, which is uh, Pam auth update, right? So if I do sudo Pam auth update, so this is pluggable authentication modules and I'm updating what all I can use to authenticate myself. So by default, this fingerprint authentication will be off. So you can turn that on and then do okay. And you don't need to restart or anything. It will just, just work right away. Yeah, enable authentication, enroll your uh, fingerprints and then you are good to go essentially. Um, you can also just like F print D dash, you can do enroll list, uh, delete internally verifies what's getting called when it's trying to check your fingerprint when you run sudo something. So you don't need to use it directly. Maybe if you're adding programs with authentication for Linux, maybe you would use it, but uh, that's what's internally getting used. And uh, I'm absolutely surprised how easy it was to set all of this up. Obviously, a lot of work and the heavy lifting is being done by uh, this forked uh, uh, library, the, this one. So I guess I should definitely start it. And uh, so far, the only issue I've seen is I also showed this in the video where I'm doing like an authentication and it fails. And I still haven't really checked if there's a way to, uh, yeah, that's already authenticated. If there's a way to do authentication retries using fingerprints. So maybe there's like an option I need to turn on. So it at least checks thrice before asking me to write my password. So that would be something I would uh, 
uh, add uh, if it's not available i'm sure there's a config somewhere uh, but that was a very quick video on how to set this all up uh, i would definitely suggest you to go watch leon's original video where he goes through in detail on how to uh, install the um the the package dependencies needed and also uh, how to set up the repo even though most of it he covered in his uh, github this gist it has all those details uh, main thing to realize is everything is getting done from fprindy and lipam fprindy print and then this fork is essentially just making it work with cs9711 chipset Hope you found this video helpful and you can also set up your machine to now use fingerprint auth. It's a lot more convenient than writing your whole password every time. It gets a little irritating to be honest. I didn't realize why I didn't do this sooner. So I'm going to be checking how to do the config on retries to make sure that I can uh, do maybe three retries before it asks me for my password. So I'll check all of that and uh, if time permits make a, like a short or a YouTube uh, shorter video maybe. Uh, to talk about uh, the next steps uh, but uh, this was a very quick video on how to use fingerprints on your linux machine to authenticate uh, hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any questions leave them in the comments and uh, see you in the next one bye